Neil Channing, possibly the most famous poker player in the entire world. Pretty much. Thank you for doing with Nell's three minute interview. Here in sunny Primrose Hill. It is sunny. Okay, time starts now. What was the first job you ever had? Uh, I used to be very entrepreneurial when I was a kid, actually. And uh, me and Keith the Camel Hawkins used to go cleaning cars. We would knock on people's doors and say, do you want your car clean, mister? And if they, well, it was usually housewives, actually. We would go in the afternoons. And uh, they would say, how much does it cost? And we'd say, you decide afterwards how much of a good job we've done. And uh, we lived in quite a posh area, so we used to go to the Wentworth Estate, where the golf course is, and uh, we'd clean people's cars. And then if we made any money, we'd go straight to the betting shop and gamble it. And then if we had any money left after that, we'd go to the pub. We're only 15. So what was the last job you had? Uh, I worked in gambling. I was an odds compiler for IG Index. I was just a spread betting company, so basically I was looking at sporting events and trying to work out the percentage chances of various things happening. Uh, it didn't, I think the car cleaning was more of a real job. Uh, who's your top uh, FHM pin-up girl? I mean, I think I get FHM sent, no, I get Maxim sent to me in the post because, I don't know, the publisher does a poker magazine and they send me it as well. And all the pin-ups are lovely, but I don't know any of their names. Is she an FHM pin-up girl? That girl with the the Boddington's advert. Uh, wasn't she in she Corrie? Used to be? Yeah, the one with black hair. Yeah, that'll she do. She does the Churchill advert. She's quite tasty. I can't remember what she's called. I think she's in my age range. Neil Channing, grind or glory? I'm a grinder, aren't I, really? I've always been a grinder. I'm a hard worker. You know, when I, when I was broke, I'd turn up every day, 320 days a year at the Vic and I got myself back into the game. But now, I don't know, I'm a glory hunter. I like TV poker and big tournaments. So if you uh, went on a desert island and had to take a book with you, which mm. book would you take? Uh, that's a good question. Um, uh, no, I'm quite a big reader. I do read quite a lot of stuff, but I have one big bookshelf at home for gambling books and one big bookshelf for non-gambling books. And there's probably five times as many books on the gambling books bookshelf, which is probably a bad thing. I think I've probably got like 50 non-gambling books that I haven't really got round to. I've got a... Hunter Davis wrote a good biography of the Beatles, which is like a million pages long. And I'm, I've taken it to Vegas five times and I've never actually started it. So I guess if I took it to a desert island, there's a chance I'd finish it. Okay, uh, Neil Channing. Um, cool or nerd? <laughs> I don't think I'm very cool. I'd like to be cool. I try to be cool a little bit. No, I'm more of a nerd, I'm afraid. I'd, I'd like to change. be anybody in history, who would you be? Um, I kind of quite like to be Stu Unger. I, hadn't, I actually heard you ask that question before and I was thinking who I'd like to be in history. Like, in terms of like historical figures that you would have studied at school, I couldn't think of any. Um, I don't really want to be any kind of kings or princes or knights or any of those people. And like we don't remember like, you know, the kind of tax accountant from the 1830s or something. He doesn't get written about in history. So, um, I don't know, I guess somebody from more modern history. Um, somebody from the 60s, I guess. I'd quite like to be George Harrison. Is he history? He's yep. dead, I suppose. He Anyone. Your channel, thank you. Thank you. Gold finger. He's the man, the man with the Midas touch. Uh, can you tell me one tell you've got on someone else? Uh, a betting pattern tell. There's quite a lot of people that I know with the way they play certain hands in certain ways, but I'm not going to fucking tell you. <laughs>